we're back. <laughs> Believe it or not, second attempt today, but second time's the charm. That's Mark. right. And I had time to make a drink, so we could toast our friends, Ellen and Michael Lytle. Welcome you two. How are you doing? Thank you. <laughs> it's great to see you, even though it's virtual. Well, it is. It's great to see you guys. Yeah. It's always great to see you, no matter how. <laughs> yeah. Well, virtually yeah. or in person. The person in in in, person. in the flesh. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, I didn't remember your fireplace. Why don't I? Uh, it sometimes it's covered okay. by the table. Yeah. All right. That's for the big parties. Yeah. 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 We just have some tea lights in there. Okay. Can you make a fire in it? No. Nope. No. <laughs> but my brother Vincent and his wife Ellen made this nice little two wood like what do you call that? A bush. A bush. <laughs> a bush. And with little holes for either candles or tea lights. Oh nice. Yeah. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks, Allie. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> so, how are you guys holding up these days? Well, we're okay because uh, we're staying inside. We're a little worried, you know, because we're older. Mm. So, uh, at first, <clears throat> it was it was almost terrifying in a way, but now it's uh, it's okay. It, it's just that. You know, you still have to be really careful. You don't want to uh, lose your, you know, it's right. waiting out there to grab you. So, yeah. you wash your hands, do all this. Mm -hmm. you get it. I, I, now, I just walk outside sometimes without my mask. So I have to run back. So now I've got yeah. an extra one in my pocket, so I'm okay. That happens to me too. I go down the <laughs> stairs and I'm yeah. like, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Need your mask. I think it's happening to a lot of us. It never happened before. It didn't happen in, in uh, March, April, May. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> Mark, stop knob twiddling over there. <laughs> well, I he thought just, that put all music. His hands are everywhere, you know. It's like typical percussionist. <laughs> so yeah. we go way back with you guys, like, till 19... Blah, 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 blah. And when... <laughs> wait. What's well, up? Um, well, Mark uh, was 63, uh, 83, right? Mark, we, we were in the same Yeah. Band. You're actually on my first album. That's ah, right. that's right. And one of, my, one of my best solos is on your first album. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I like that. Is that Galactic so Bump? Yeah. 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 You yeah, know, right. I've, I've actually uh, played that game. Guess what instrument is that? Many times. Oh, oh you have? <laughs> yeah. Anybody uh, guess it? I think maybe one once, but <laughs> basically no. <laughs> Is it the contrabass? Basically, no, just the bass. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, what year did you guys get married? 1994. The best wedding ever, ever. Oh, yeah, it was so much ever. fun, that wedding. Yeah. The best we, do, we did get a lot of good feedback about that wedding. Oh, my God. Oh, and the uh, the jam we did at the end was fantastic. I still remember that. Yeah. Well, all I can remember, I had drank so much <laughs> champagne that I could I hardly played the drum anymore. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that's probably why it, it was so great. That's, yeah. Uh, we, we we couldn't tell what it was like. <laughs> yeah. really. Well, Sa Sarah was actually telling me. Oh, I remember Michael Lider lived down in Elizabeth Street in that house, and for me it was so poetic, you know. It was, like, it was just you guys were so cool because you lived in Soho, and you're artists, and I was pretty green, and it was just I really you oh I God. admired you and oh. your life because the artist life is pretty awesome, you know. It's very. Yeah. I don't know. We have a lot of freedom, and there's some risks with that, but in general. 
a lot of risk, yeah. But and a lot of melancholia. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you guys, uh, who's going to start? Is it oh, I can tell you. Okay, back, so. <laughs> is there a special name to that piece? Or no, theme? I, I don't even know. I, I don't know much about it. I mean, it's. Uh, it, I got my clarinet fixed, and uh, I've had it sitting here. And every time I pick it up, I play this tune. So, um, cool. It's it's actually in a. It's a, a actually in A modal, which but that's in B flat. So in C, I don't. Let's see. Okay, let's go for it. Okay. <coughs> once did. They just pour some tinseled piety into my room, settled under a quiet, under a quiet which lately no one disturbs. Another year finds me in the same place. New York City's Christmas begins. Cold grips the windows outside, spreading otherworldly wonder from knobbed knees up to my head. In truth, I wouldn't switch my life for a fresh one when days like this stand on tiptoe. Did my striped socks make today the best? Or was it winter's light spreading over Central Park at 4 p.m., crossing town with a hint of plaid and something safe, something routine? Something simple enough for God, for a God to create. Last Sunday in Spanish Harlem, when winter's light brushing tenements a thousand times is more marvelous when you're poor. Yet, if it wasn't for flushing, there wouldn't be Christmas. My dad, a Santa, would laugh. On Christmas Eve, twilight sinks lower in the forgiving earth, 
for humble houses, dotting snowy fields, looked tired, as if cheer had already come and left them indecently reflective. We left my sister slumped in a wheelchair on Christmas Day, still cutting and pasting ribbons and cards and wrapping paper where shades of darkness come early.
downtown. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So, Michael, tell us why you moved, switched to the, uh, the A clarinet. That's the A clarinet. It's a B flat. A B flat. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I play all three B flats: a soprano, bass, and contrabass. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, there's a set of A clarinets too, though. You're right about that. Mm. Uh, why do I, Why am I playing the uh, the regular clarinet? Because I'm telling you, man, it's the bass clarinet. I bought this beautiful bass clarinet. It took me years to save up for it. Uh, I couldn't get it until I had retired and everything and had this big account, you know, that I had put away. And a uh, deferred compensation, it's called. And when I got it, it was fantastic. But that, as I got older, it's heavy. Yeah. It's pretty heavy to carry around. Mm. So I'm thinking, you know, uh, I go to rehearsals and play the regular clarinet and then play the bass clarinet, uh, dress rehearsals and concerts, mm. or I don't know what, you know, but I I guess if I, you know, if I get a cab, it's fine. <laughs> if there's car fare. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think car service, <laughs> you know, well, Lyft, Uber, you name it. <laughs> uh, like, uh, I love the sound, it sounds like it's a human sound, you know, that has a warmth. Oh. And it complements the poetry very beautifully. Oh, good. good. Yeah. So, Helen, what's your inspiration for your poem? Well, um, I just thought I'd read this one as the last one. It's COVID, so you mm. can get gather from that. Although, I did write one in January before we left for Europe that I read recently and it's really prescient because I say something's going on. We had a day last January where it was 78 degrees. We had more than one day. We had a couple mm -hmm. of warm, warm days. And yeah. I said, something is very off in the world. Oh, and something's shit, coming. Yeah. yeah. So, a jump. Poor April wastes away in front of exploding calorie pear and London planes, while outside the bedroom window, two rags of sky float across a water tower, weathering. Next door, who is to s sorry, floating across a weathering a water tower, weathering next door. Who's to say the neighbors? brick wall isn't a piece of new life now. A slab of concrete on 200 year old stone in air that's been cleansed. Not much traffic, no garbage makers, and a man, one man, just one man on a roof across the street wearing a 1950s hat. Jump. Okay. Great. Well, our true New Yorker friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's awesome. Thanks for keeping the spirit of New York City alive. It's people oh. like you who make New York so great. Oh, bless you. Yeah, heart. it's like, yeah. you know, uh, just to Jerry Seinfeld is, is really into. You know, because people say, is New York going to ever come back? You know, what is about New York? And he's like, ah, we're used to it. You know, life is difficult. It's always difficult in New York. So, <laughs> you know, it's all right. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll get over this. There's a huge yeah. picture of Jerry Seinfeld. Like, you know, the size of, uh, I don't know, a barn. It's huge. Oh, on like, 79th Street. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you saw it. I haven't Saying, seen it. New York yeah. City, we're not, you know, <laughs> that's we're right. not dead. So. We're not I've, giving up. He has a book sure. out, I think. That's what happened. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, but all his all his uh, uh, driving cars around is, is in California, isn't it? Oh, the cars. Well, he huh? interviewed cars. Obama, so he, 
he might have his cars on the East Coast, but yeah, he wrote an editorial in the New York yeah. Times about people shaming people basically for fleeing New York during the pandemic. Oh, yeah. Just saying, what, what you know, a, it's coming back. Yeah. That, that happened in the uh, London, uh, uh, you know, the boys book or what's his name's book anyway about the, uh, the horrible London, uh, disease and uh, when was it? Oh yeah, you mean the, the plague from 1616? Yeah. Oh, the plague. Yeah. Everybody, everybody who could afford it left London. It was well, sure. Like the, yeah. whole, the whole thing is very, very similar. Well, yeah. Same so, thing here. So yeah. Seinfeld yeah, exactly. was shaming the people that left. Is that it? I don't know. So, yeah. uh, he was shaming the people that left? Yes, uh, that was the idea. That I mean, the, the, it's, you know, that I mean, it's understandable in a way, and but the problem is, it's it's a class thing. If you can afford it, yeah, you have a second home or whatever, you leave. Or you, mm -hmm. you have no particular attachment, you leave. But people that have, you know, cannot afford it, then have, they just have to stay here, you know. It's great that so. those people stay. The royal family stayed in London when the bombs were coming, I'm sure you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mean, That's right, they did. The palace, I think, was bombed even. So I, yeah. I just felt really good about staying. Not that we could leave, we had nowhere to go, <laughs> no money, but... I, I actually loved it, it was so quiet. Yeah. You know, there, mm. there were hardly any cars in the streets and it was just like, it was like a, um, 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 a well, a science fiction story, you know. It was. The, it was. Uh, I love the the clapping every night at seven. That was just oh so yeah, beautiful. That was really good. Right. Yeah. Wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, definitely. And uh, we're still thinking of those workers because. Oh yeah, my we don't God, clap for them anymore. hospitals all over the country are just overwhelmed. It's yeah, but they should be getting the vaccines any day, right? Yeah, so that's very encouraging. Yeah, the vaccine well, is great. You know what we did for for the seven o'clock thing? <laughs> what did we do? Oh. <laughs> She's gonna go clap, but nobody's clapping anymore. <laughs> a new tambourine. <laughs> mm. Mark would play uh, on a drum or. Yeah. Beat a pail on the roof, or yeah. Yeah, right? People here were um, outside their windows. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's great. Okay, I, I do have a clip of uh, the thing on top of New York. Should we play it? What now? would people do? No, we have a clip of that. Oh, we do. Yeah, yeah. you have it right here. Yeah. We're gonna show a little clip. So you're not gonna hit, but you can participate. Why don't yeah, you, you guys participate? can join in. Okay. okay. We're gonna do that now. Here we go. Get your tambourine. And the bell. Let's give a shout out to those people working so hard yeah. to help others. We're doing a seven o'clock at the tip. Okay, it's over. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. That was great. So, uh, what a time. Is that it? Well, <laughs> one last little piece, Michael, for the getting oh, us good. out of the chat. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this opportunity. Sure. <laughs>
Yeah. Alright guys. Well okay. thanks for right. indulging right. us. Yeah, it was great. Great seeing you and hearing you. And I'm gonna I'd like to put a link to Ellen's poems or more about Ellen on the YouTube uh, notes. And also Michael, you have a Bandcamp link, right? Yes, yes. Uh, Great. L1 Music, Bandcamp. Okay. L1. So we'll put those up there. And tomorrow we'll have the writer Davis Sobel joining us. Okay. So thanks, everyone. Right. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, thanks, guys.